Reflections of Time, Conversations in the Park Book Introduction In the enchanting setting of a serene park, where the whispers of the wind blend with the rustling leaves, an extraordinary encounter takes place between a 90-year-old man and a curious 14-year-old boy. In Reflections of Time, Conversations in the Park, embark on a profound journey that transcends generations, as the old man imparts his invaluable wisdom on how to live a life free from regrets. Within these pages, you will witness an extraordinary bond forged between two souls at different stages of life. The old man, adorned with the gentle lines of age etched upon his face, becomes the guide for the young boy, offering him the rare opportunity to glean insights from a lifetime of experiences. Chapter 1 the meeting in the park. The sun cast a warm glow over the park as the old man settled on his favorite bench, the one nestled beneath the ancient oak tree. He watched the world go by with a sense of tranquility that only age could bring. Little did he know that fate had something extraordinary in store for him that day. It was amidst this picturesque backdrop that the boy, burdened by the weight of youthful curiosity and an insatiable thirst for knowledge, stumbled upon the old man. Drawn by an invisible force, the boy cautiously approached, his eyes filled with wonder and a touch of trepidation. With a kind smile and a sparkle in his eyes, the old man welcomed the boy to join him on the bench. As they exchanged pleasantries, the conversation flowed effortlessly, as if they were old friends reuniting after a long separation. The boy sensed that this encounter was no accident, it was a turning point in his young life. As the old man spoke, his voice carried the weight of countless years lived and countless lessons learned. He shared stories of triumphs and failures, of joys and sorrows, of love and loss. With each tale, the boy's understanding of life deepened, and his perspective began to shift. In this chapter, witness the serendipitous meeting that sets the stage for an extraordinary journey. Delve into the wisdom of the old man as he lays the foundation for the transformative conversations that lie ahead. As you immerse yourself in their exchange, prepare to explore the profound insights that will shape the boy's understanding of life and inspire readers of all ages. Chapter 2. The Wisdom of Experience As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting hues of gold and orange across the sky, the old man began sharing the profound wisdom that only a life well-lived could offer. The boy listened intently, captivated by every word that fell from the old man's lips. Life, my young friend, is a tapestry woven with threads of joy and sorrow, triumphs and tribulations, the old man began, his voice carrying a gentle yet resolute tone. In my 90 years of existence, I've come to realize that it is not the absence of regrets that defines a life well lived, but rather the way we navigate them. With an air of vulnerability, the old man opened up about his own regrets. He shared stories of missed opportunities, chances not taken, and paths left unexplored. The boy hung on to every word, absorbing the old man's vulnerability and allowing it to ignite a fire within him. But regrets need not be anchors that weigh us down, the old man continued. They can serve as signposts guiding us towards a deeper understanding of ourselves and the choices we make. He spoke of the importance of self-reflection and introspection, urging the boy to embark on a journey of self-discovery. Only by examining our regrets, acknowledging them, and learning from them can we truly grow, the old man emphasized. The park echoed with the sounds of their conversation, the rustling leaves lending a sense of serenity to their profound exchange. The boy found solace in the old man's words, realizing that even the wisest souls had their share of regrets. It was not about eradicating regrets entirely, but rather about embracing them as catalysts for personal growth. As the chapter drew to a close, the old man imparted his final piece of wisdom for the day. Regrets, my young friend, remind us of our humanity. They teach us empathy, compassion, and the importance of cherishing every moment. With a newfound understanding and a heart brimming with curiosity, the boy bid the old man farewell for the day, eager to return to the park for their next encounter.
Little did he know that the old man's wisdom would shape his perspective on life in ways he could never have imagined. Chapter 3. Embracing Opportunities The following day, under the dappled sunlight filtering through the park's leafy canopy, the boy returned to the familiar bench, his heart filled with anticipation. As if sensing his presence, the old man turned towards him, a warm smile gracing his weathered face. Opportunities, my young friend, are the windows through which life invites us to step into the unknown, the old man began, his eyes shining with a mix of nostalgia and enthusiasm. Regrets often arise from the opportunities we let slip away, the paths untrodden, and the dreams left unfulfilled. With vivid storytelling, the old man recounted the defining moments in his own life when he stood at crossroads, teetering between the comfort of familiarity and the allure of uncharted territories. He shared tales of risks taken and rewards reaped, emphasizing the importance of seizing the chances that come our way. The fear of failure can be paralyzing, my young friend, the old man said, his voice tinged with gentle encouragement. But it is through embracing uncertainty, stepping outside our comfort zones, and venturing into the realm of possibility that we discover our true potential. He spoke of the transformative power of resilience and the invaluable lessons found in setbacks and failures. Do not fear the stumbles along your journey, for they serve as stepping stones towards growth and wisdom, the old man advised, his words carrying the weight of personal experience. As the boy absorbed the old man's teachings, a newfound determination kindled within him. He realized that life's greatest rewards often lay hidden behind the veils of fear and doubt. With each passing moment, he vowed to embrace opportunities, to seize the day, and to live a life infused with purpose and adventure. The park reverberated with the echoes of their conversation, the old man's words like seeds planted in fertile soil, destined to bloom in the young boy's mind. And as the day drew to a close, the boy bid the old man farewell, gratitude emanating from his very being. Little did he know that their encounters would continue to shape his perspective, nudging him towards a life unfettered by regrets. As he walked away from the park, his heart brimmed with hope and a newfound understanding that opportunities awaited him around every corner, ready to be embraced. Chapter 4, Overcoming Regrets In the midst of a gentle breeze that whispered through the park, the boy returned to the familiar bench, his thoughts tinged with a newfound resolve. The old man greeted him with a knowing smile, his eyes twinkling with wisdom. Regrets, my young friend, can either consume us or propel us forward, the old man began, his voice carrying a sense of quiet strength. To live a life without regrets does not mean to avoid mistakes or missteps, but rather to learn from them and find the courage to move beyond their grip. With a vulnerable honesty, the old man shared personal stories of regrets he had carried throughout his long life. He spoke of decisions made in haste, opportunities squandered, and the weight of remorse that had burdened his heart. Yet, he also spoke of the transformative power of redemption and the possibility of finding solace in forgiveness, both for oneself and others. Regrets are not meant to be shackles that bind us, but rather guideposts that illuminate the path to growth and self-discovery, the old man explained, his words resonating deep within the boy's being. We must confront our regrets head-on, seeking understanding, and finding the strength to let go. As the old man spoke, the boy began to understand that regrets were not meant to define one's existence, but rather to serve as catalysts for personal transformation. He learned the importance of self-forgiveness and the necessity of extending compassion to others who carried their own burdens of regret. With each passing story, the old man imparted lessons of resilience, reminding the boy that it was never too late to rewrite the narrative of one's life. We are the authors of our own stories, the old man declared. And it is within our power to shape them into tales of redemption, growth, and wisdom. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting an ethereal glow over the park, the boy felt a sense of liberation washing over him. In the presence of the old man, he discovered the transformative magic of confronting regrets, embracing forgiveness, 
and finding the strength to move forward. With gratitude in his heart, the boy bid the old man farewell, knowing that their conversations had forever altered the trajectory of his life. And as he ventured into the world beyond the park, he carried with him the newfound wisdom that regrets need not be chains, but rather stepping stones towards a life lived without regret. Chapter 5 Lessons in Love and Relationships Underneath the shade of the park's grand willow tree, the boy and the old man reunited, their connection deepening with each passing encounter. The old man's eyes glimmered with a tenderness that only love and the memories of a lifetime could bring. Ah, love, my young friend, the old man began, his voice carrying a gentle warmth. It is the most extraordinary and complex of human emotions, woven into the very fabric of our existence. Regrets in love can linger like bittersweet melodies, but they also offer invaluable lessons that shape our capacity to give and receive. With a nostalgic smile, the old man shared tales of his own experiences, the joys and heartaches that love had brought him throughout his journey. He spoke of the exhilarating dance of falling in love, the delicate balance of vulnerability and trust, and the transformative power of genuine connections. Love, my young friend, requires courage, the old man emphasized. It asks us to be vulnerable, to open our hearts despite the risks, and to cherish the moments we have with those who touch our souls. He spoke of the regrets that can accompany love, the words left unsaid, the chances not taken, the opportunities to mend fractured bonds. But he also imparted the wisdom that love, even in its imperfections, holds the power to heal and transform. The old man shared stories of forgiveness, of reconciliations that mended broken hearts, and of the enduring bonds that transcend time. He spoke of the importance of cherishing the people who make our lives richer, for it is in their presence that we truly understand the depth of love's significance. As the boy listened, his heart swelled with a newfound appreciation for the complexities of love and relationships. He learned that regrets in love were not a sign of failure, but rather reminders of the depth of his capacity to love and be loved. With the sun casting a golden glow over the park, the boy bid the old man farewell, his mind filled with reflections on love, the beauty it brings, and the lessons it imparts. As he walked away, he carried the old man's words in his heart, ready to navigate the intricate tapestry of love with courage, understanding, and an openness to embrace the transformative power it held. Chapter 6 – The Pursuit of Dreams Beneath the vast expanse of the star-studded sky, the boy and the old man found themselves enveloped in the park's serene embrace once again. The old man's eyes shimmered with a glimmer of dreams and aspirations as he prepared to share his wisdom on the pursuit of one's deepest desires. Dreams, my young friend, are the whispers of our souls, beckoning us to embark on extraordinary journeys, the old man began, his voice carrying a sense of fervent determination. Regrets often arise when we allow our dreams to wither in the face of adversity or succumb to the pressures of conformity. With an air of passion, the old man recounted stories of dreams he had nurtured throughout his own long and eventful life. He spoke of the audacity required to chase one's dreams, the setbacks encountered along the way, and the triumphs that awaited those who dared to persist. Never let the fear of failure stifle the pursuit of your dreams, the old man emphasized, his voice resonating with unwavering belief. Regrets are born from the what ifs and what could have beens, but it is in the relentless pursuit of our dreams that we unlock the true potential within us. He spoke of resilience, encouraging the boy to cultivate an unwavering spirit in the face of adversity. Every setback is an opportunity to gather strength, learn valuable lessons, and recalibrate our course towards the fulfillment of our dreams, the old man proclaimed. As the old man shared his wisdom, the park seemed to come alive with a sense of possibility and boundless potential. The boy felt a fire ignite within him, igniting his dreams and urging him to take bold steps towards their realization. With each passing story, the old man unveiled the power of perseverance, the significance of staying true to oneself, and the magic that unfolds when we dare to dream without limits. 
The boy absorbed these teachings, knowing that he possessed the capacity to transform his dreams into a vivid reality. As the chapter drew to a close, the old man imparted his final piece of advice. Hold fast to your dreams, my young friend, for they are the compass that will guide you towards a life of fulfillment and purpose, he said, his words carrying the weight of a lifetime of experiences. With gratitude in his heart, the boy bid the old man farewell, his mind brimming with inspiration and a newfound determination to pursue his dreams with unwavering passion. As he ventured into the night, the park stood as a testament to the transformative power of dreams and the promise of a life lived without the haunting specter of regret. Chapter 7, Finding Inner Peace Under the gentle shade of a blossoming cherry tree, the boy and the old man reunited, their souls attuned to the tranquility that surrounded them. The old man's eyes held a serene sparkle, hinting at the profound wisdom he was about to share on finding inner peace. Inner peace, my young friend, is a precious jewel that resides within each of us, waiting to be discovered amidst the chaos of life, the old man began, his voice a gentle melody that carried with it a sense of profound calmness. Regrets often arise when we allow external circumstances to disturb the harmony within. With profound simplicity, the old man unraveled the secrets of finding inner peace in the midst of life's storms. He spoke of the power of mindfulness, of cultivating an awareness of the present moment, and of embracing the beauty that exists in the here and now. True peace comes from within, the old man explained, his voice carrying the weight of countless moments of self-reflection. It is not a state devoid of challenges or regrets but rather an anchor that keeps us grounded amidst the turbulence of life. He shared stories of his own journey towards inner peace, the battles fought within his own mind, and the revelations that came with embracing a state of calm surrender. The boy listened intently, feeling a deep resonance within his own being, as if he, too, held the key to unlocking the serenity that lay dormant within. The old man spoke of the power of forgiveness, both towards oneself and others, as a transformative force on the path to inner peace. He emphasized the importance of letting go of grudges, resentments, and the burden of past regrets, for they only serve to cloud the clarity of the present moment. As the park exuded a sense of stillness, the boy found solace in the old man's teachings, he understood that true inner peace was not a destination to be reached but a journey to be embraced. It was an ongoing practice of self-care, self-compassion, and nurturing the connection with one's own spirit. With a deep sense of gratitude, the boy bid the old man farewell, his heart brimming with the promise of inner peace. As he walked away from the park, he carried within him the old man's teachings, ready to cultivate a sanctuary of tranquility amidst the whirlwind of life's regrets and challenges. Chapter 8, Courage and Resilience In the embrace of nature's gentle symphony, the boy and the old man met once more, their spirits intertwined in a dance of resilience and fortitude. The old man's eyes held a flicker of unwavering determination, as he prepared to share his wisdom on the virtues of courage and resilience. Courage, my young friend, is not the absence of fear, but rather the audacity to face it head-on, the old man began, his voice resonating with a quiet strength. Regrets often arise when we allow fear to paralyze us, preventing us from taking the bold steps necessary for growth and transformation. With vivid storytelling, the old man unveiled tales of his own encounters with fear and the profound lessons they had bestowed upon him. He spoke of daunting challenges that had tested his resolve, moments when doubts threatened to overwhelm him, and yet, he had found the strength to persevere. Resilience, my young friend, is the unwavering spirit that rises from the ashes of adversity, the old man explained, his words carrying the weight of a life lived with unwavering determination. It is the wellspring of inner strength that enables us to navigate life's trials and emerge stronger on the other side. He shared stories of resilience in the face of regret, of turning setbacks into stepping stones, and of finding the courage to forge ahead despite the shadows of doubt that lingered. The boy absorbed these tales, his own resolve strengthening with each word, knowing that he, too, 
possessed the capacity to overcome obstacles. As the old man spoke, the park seemed to echo with the triumphant spirit of resilience. The boy felt a surge of determination within him, understanding that courage and resilience were not lofty ideals reserved for the extraordinary, but qualities that resided within every human heart. With each passing story, the old man painted a portrait of unwavering courage and indomitable spirit. He imparted the wisdom that regrets need not define us, but rather provide the catalyst for transformation and growth. He instilled in the boy the belief that setbacks were not the end, but merely chapters in a larger narrative of resilience and triumph. As the chapter drew to a close, the old man shared his final piece of advice. Hold steadfast to your courage, my young friend, and let resilience be your guiding light, he said, his voice carrying the echo of a thousand battles fought and won. With gratitude in his heart, the boy bid the old man farewell, his spirit ablaze with newfound courage and resilience. As he ventured into the world beyond the park, he carried within him the old man's teachings, ready to face life's challenges with unwavering determination and the knowledge that regrets would never extinguish the flame of his inner strength. Chapter 9, Letting Go of the Past Under the gentle shade of a weeping willow, the boy and the old man found solace in the park once again, their hearts attuned to the wisdom that awaited them. The old man's eyes held a serene gaze as he prepared to share his insights on the art of letting go. Letting go, my young friend, is a sacred act of liberation, the old man began, his voice carrying a serene cadence. Regrets often anchor us to the past, preventing us from fully embracing the beauty and potential of the present moment. With profound simplicity, the old man unraveled the power of releasing the grip of the past. He spoke of the weight of past mistakes and the burden of what I fs, urging the boy to free himself from the shackles of regret. Forgiveness is the key, my young friend, the old man proclaimed, his voice brimming with compassion. Forgiveness for others, forgiveness for oneself, for it is in forgiveness that we find the strength to let go and make room for new beginnings. He shared stories of his own journey of releasing the past, recounting moments of forgiveness that had liberated his spirit and allowed him to embrace the richness of the present. The boy listened intently, feeling a flicker of hope within his own heart, as if the old man's words held the secret to unlocking the gates of inner freedom. The old man spoke of the healing power of acceptance, of making peace with the past and embracing the lessons it had bestowed. He encouraged the boy to view regrets not as burdens, but as stepping stones towards growth and wisdom. As the park bloomed with the colors of newfound liberation, the boy understood that letting go was not an act of forgetting, but rather an act of surrendering the grip of regret and embracing the possibilities that lay before him. The old man's teachings kindled within him a flame of resilience, enabling him to walk a path untethered by the ghosts of the past. With a heart brimming with gratitude, the boy bid the old man farewell, his spirit lighter and his soul buoyed by the promise of a future unburdened by regret. As he ventured beyond the park, he carried within him the old man's wisdom, ready to let go of the weight of the past and embrace the freedom that awaited him. Chapter 10, Creating Meaningful Connections Amidst the vibrant tapestry of the park, the boy and the old man reunited once again, their hearts open to the profound wisdom that awaited them. The old man's eyes sparkled with the recognition of the power of connections, as he prepared to share his insights on fostering meaningful relationships. Connections, my young friend, are the threads that weave the fabric of our lives, the old man began, his voice carrying a warmth and depth that resonated deeply. Regrets often arise when we fail to nurture the connections that matter most, when we allow moments of connection to slip through our grasp. With gentle reverence, the old man spoke of the transformative power of genuine human connections. He shared stories of friendships forged in the crucible of shared experiences, of the deep bonds that formed through moments of vulnerability and authenticity. Embrace the gift of presence, my young friend, the old man advised, his voice filled with the richness of lived experiences. 
Truly listen, engage with empathy, and cherish the connections you forge along your journey. He spoke of the regrets that can arise from missed opportunities to connect, from words left unspoken and gestures left unmade. The old man emphasized the importance of nurturing relationships, for it is in the realm of connection that true fulfillment and meaning reside. As the old man shared his wisdom, the park seemed to come alive with the vibrant energy of human interaction. The boy felt a profound appreciation for the people in his life, and a renewed sense of commitment to fostering deeper connections. With each passing story, the old man unveiled the magic of meaningful connections. He imparted the wisdom that regrets often stemmed from moments of disconnection, urging the boy to treasure the people who brought joy, love, and inspiration into his life. As the chapter drew to a close, the old man shared his final piece of advice. Cultivate the garden of relationships, my young friend, tending to it with care and love, he said, his voice carrying the weight of a lifetime of cherished connections. For it is in the tapestry of shared experiences that we find the true richness of life. With a heart brimming with gratitude, the boy bid the old man farewell, his spirit awakened to the profound beauty of meaningful connections. As he ventured into the world beyond the park, he carried within him the old man's teachings, ready to nurture relationships, cherish moments of connection, and live a life rich in love and genuine human interaction. Chapter 11, Living in the Present Moment. In the serene embrace of the park, the boy and the old man reunited, their souls resonating with the wisdom that awaited them. The old man's eyes shimmered with a deep understanding as he prepared to share his insights on the art of living in the present moment. The present moment, my young friend, is a precious gift that unfolds before us, the old man began, his voice carrying a sense of profound stillness. Regrets often arise when we dwell in the past or worry about the future, failing to fully embrace the beauty and potential of the here and now. With gentle guidance, the old man unraveled the power of mindfulness and presence. He spoke of the practice of being fully engaged in each moment, of savoring the simple joys that life offers, and of cultivating gratitude for the blessings that surround us. Release the burdens of the past and the anxieties of the future, the old man advised, his voice filled with serene clarity. Embrace the present moment with an open heart and an attentive mind, for it is in this state of presence that true joy and fulfillment reside. He shared stories of his own journey towards living in the present moment, recounting moments of awe and wonder that had unfolded when he let go of regrets and fully immersed himself in the richness of the present. The boy listened intently, feeling a renewed sense of awe for the world around him, as if the old man's words held the key to unlocking the profound beauty of each passing moment. The old man spoke of the power of conscious awareness, of fully experiencing life's sensations, and of finding the extraordinary within the ordinary. He encouraged the boy to let go of distractions, to quiet the noise of the mind, and to discover the richness that exists in the simplicity of being. As the park shimmered with a sense of sacredness, the boy understood that living in the present moment was not an elusive concept, but a conscious choice to embrace the here and now. The old man's teachings ignited within him a flame of mindfulness, allowing him to experience the world with renewed clarity and appreciation. With a heart filled with gratitude, the boy bid the old man farewell, his spirit awakened to the profound beauty of the present moment. As he ventured beyond the park, he carried within him the old man's wisdom, ready to let go of the burdens of the past, release worries about the future, and embrace the fullness of each precious moment that life unfolded. Chapter 12, The Power of Forgiveness Under the gentle rustle of the park's foliage, the boy and the old man met once more, their hearts attuned to the transformative power of forgiveness. The old man's eyes held a profound depth as he prepared to share his insights on the healing journey of forgiveness. Forgiveness, my young friend, is a sacred act of liberation, the old man began, his voice carrying a blend of compassion and wisdom. Regrets often linger when we hold on to grievances, resentments, and the weight of past hurts. 
It is through forgiveness that we find the key to unburden our souls and set ourselves free. With gentle reverence, the old man spoke of the transformative power of forgiveness, both towards others and oneself. He shared stories of personal forgiveness, recounting moments when he had chosen to release the shackles of anger and resentment, and in doing so, had discovered a profound sense of inner peace. Forgiveness does not condone the actions that caused us pain, the old man explained, his voice filled with understanding. Rather, it allows us to transcend the wounds and find healing for our own sake. It is a gift we give ourselves, a path to reclaiming our own peace of mind. He spoke of the courage required to forgive, of the strength it took to let go of past hurts, and of the transformative power that forgiveness bestowed upon those who embraced it. As the old man spoke, the park seemed to exhale a collective sigh of release. The boy felt a stirring within his own heart, a realization that forgiveness held the key to unburdening his soul and forging a path forward, free from the weight of regrets. The old man shared stories of reconciliation, of bridges mended and relationships restored. He emphasized that forgiveness was not always about reconciliation with others, but also about finding inner forgiveness and self-compassion. As the chapter drew to a close, the old man shared his final piece of advice. Embrace the power of forgiveness, my young friend, for it has the capacity to mend even the deepest wounds, he said, his voice carrying the resonance of a thousand forgiven grievances. By choosing forgiveness, you open the door to a life free from the grip of regret, and pave the way for profound healing and growth. With a heart brimming with gratitude, the boy bid the old man farewell, his spirit touched by the transformative power of forgiveness. As he ventured beyond the park, he carried within him the old man's teachings, ready to embark on a journey of forgiveness, both towards others and himself, knowing that it held the key to unlocking a life lived without the burden of regret. Chapter 13. Discovering Personal Identity Beneath the sprawling branches of an ancient oak tree, the boy and the old man met once again, their souls intertwined in the exploration of personal identity. The old man's eyes held a depth of understanding as he prepared to share his insights on the journey of self-discovery. Personal identity, my young friend, is the tapestry of our unique experiences, passions, and values, the old man began, his voice carrying a sense of introspection. Regrets often arise when we lose sight of our true selves, when we conform to societal expectations or neglect the essence of who we are. With gentle guidance, the old man unraveled the power of self-discovery. He spoke of the importance of introspection, of delving into the depths of one's own being to uncover the authentic self that lay within. Embrace the journey of self-discovery, my young friend, the old man advised, his voice filled with a quiet determination. Explore your passions, reflect on your values, and embrace the uniqueness that sets you apart. For it is in understanding and embracing your personal identity that you find the path to a life lived authentically. He shared stories of his own quest for personal identity, recounting moments of self-reflection, times when he had reconnected with his deepest passions, and the transformative power that came with embracing his true self. The boy listened intently, feeling a stirring within his own soul, as if the old man's words held the key to unlocking his own personal identity. The old man spoke of the importance of authenticity, urging the boy to celebrate his individuality and to resist the temptation to mold himself to fit societal expectations. He emphasized that regrets often arose from compromising one's personal identity, and that true fulfillment could only be found by honoring one's true essence. As the park hummed with a sense of introspection, the boy understood that discovering personal identity was not a linear journey, but a continuous exploration of self. The old man's teachings ignited within him a spark of curiosity, propelling him to embark on a voyage of self-discovery, armed with the knowledge that regrets could be shed by embracing his authentic self. With a heart filled with gratitude, the boy bid the old man farewell, his spirit ignited by the possibility of uncovering his personal identity. As he ventured beyond the park, 
He carried within him the old man's wisdom, ready to explore his passions, honor his values, and forge a path towards a life lived in alignment with his truest self. Chapter 14, Embracing Gratitude and Joy. In the park's serene sanctuary, the boy and the old man met once again, their hearts attuned to the profound wisdom of embracing gratitude and joy. The old man's eyes radiated with a deep sense of contentment as he prepared to share his insights on cultivating a grateful and joyful existence. Gratitude, my young friend, is the gateway to a life filled with joy and abundance, the old man began, his voice carrying a resonance of pure delight. Regrets often fade away when we shift our focus to the blessings that surround us and embrace the simple joys that each day brings. With genuine warmth, the old man spoke of the transformative power of gratitude. He shared stories of moments when he had consciously cultivated gratitude, when he had paused to appreciate the beauty of a sunset, the laughter of loved ones, and the smallest acts of kindness bestowed upon him. Embrace the practice of gratitude, my young friend, the old man advised, his voice filled with a contagious enthusiasm. Celebrate the blessings, big and small, that grace your life. By shifting your perspective towards gratitude, you invite more joy and abundance into your existence. He spoke of the ripple effect of gratitude, how expressing appreciation could uplift not only oneself but also those around them. The old man emphasized the importance of savoring the present moment, of finding joy in the simple pleasures that life offers, and of expressing gratitude for the experiences that shape us. As the old man spoke, the park seemed to come alive with a chorus of gratitude. The boy felt a warmth radiate within him, a recognition that a grateful heart held the power to transform even the darkest of days into moments of light and joy. The old man shared stories of joy, recounting moments of uninhibited laughter, times when he had embraced the childlike wonder that dwelled within him, and the profound fulfillment that came with finding joy in the present moment. The boy listened intently, feeling a renewed sense of wonder for the world around him, as if the old man's words held the secret to unlocking a treasure trove of gratitude and joy. The old man spoke of the importance of cultivating joy as a deliberate practice, of seeking out activities and experiences that nourished the soul, and of embracing a mindset of abundance. He imparted the wisdom that regrets often faded away in the face of gratitude and joy, for they cultivated a deep appreciation for the richness of life. As the chapter drew to a close, the old man shared his final piece of advice. Embrace gratitude and joy my young friend, for they are the keys that unlock a life of fulfillment and contentment, he said, his voice carrying the melody of a life well lived. By nurturing gratitude and embracing joy, you create a tapestry of memories that outweigh any regrets that may linger. With a heart brimming with gratitude, the boy bid the old man farewell, his spirit uplifted by the promise of gratitude and joy. As he ventured beyond the park, he carried within him the old man's teachings, ready to cultivate a grateful heart, find joy in the simplest of moments, and embark on a life filled with gratitude and abundant joy. Chapter 15, Embracing a Life Without Regrets Underneath the vast expanse of the park's open sky, the boy and the old man met for the final time, their hearts brimming with the wisdom they had shared throughout their encounters. The old man's eyes held a profound serenity, as if he carried the weight of a life lived without regrets. Living a life without regrets, my young friend, is a testament to embracing all that we have learned and experienced, the old man began, his voice carrying the resonance of a life well lived. It is a conscious choice to navigate the twists and turns of existence with courage, resilience, gratitude, and an unwavering commitment to authenticity. With reverence, the old man reflected upon the lessons they had explored together, the importance of seizing opportunities, embracing resilience, forgiveness, self-discovery, and the power of gratitude and joy. He spoke of the interconnectedness of these teachings, the tapestry they wove, and their collective power to shape a life free from the shackles of regret. Regrets, my young friend, need not define us, the old man proclaimed, 
his voice carrying the strength of a life imbued with wisdom. They are reminders of the paths we have traversed, the lessons we have learned, and the growth we have experienced. By embracing our regrets, we harness their transformative power and move forward with grace and purpose. He shared stories of his own reflections on a life well lived, moments when he had confronted his regrets with honesty and vulnerability, finding within them the seeds of wisdom and growth. The boy listened intently, feeling a profound sense of reverence for the old man's journey, as if his own path had been illuminated by the light of the old man's wisdom. The old man spoke of the importance of cherishing relationships, nurturing dreams, living in the present moment, and cultivating a deep sense of self. He emphasized that a life without regrets was not devoid of challenges or missteps, but rather a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the capacity for growth and transformation. As the old man spoke, the park seemed to echo with a symphony of possibilities. The boy felt a profound gratitude for the lessons he had learned, for the guidance of the old man, and for the unspoken promise of a life lived with intention and authenticity. With each passing story, the old man wove a tapestry of inspiration, guiding the boy towards a future brimming with possibility and purpose. He imparted the wisdom that a life without regrets was not a destination, but a lifelong journey of self-discovery, compassion, and embracing the fullness of the human experience. As the chapter drew to a close, the old man shared his final words of wisdom. Embrace the life that awaits you, my young friend, with a heart filled with gratitude, a spirit kindled with resilience, and a soul ignited by the flame of authenticity, he said, his voice carrying the echo of a life well lived. For in the pursuit of a life without regrets, you will discover the true essence of who you are and the limitless possibilities that await. With tears of gratitude in his eyes, the boy bid the old man farewell, his heart brimming with the legacy of their encounters. As he ventured beyond the park, he carried within him the old man's teachings, ready to embark on his own journey a life infused with courage, resilience, gratitude, and an unwavering commitment to living without regrets.